see if we can sort of maybe rail the rut. Nope, nope, nope. We're just gonna boon, bounce all over everything and just. I, 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 don't, I don't even know what's going on in this game. The corners are just bouncing all over the place, and then you hit the clutch boost, and everything magically works. Then you scrub completely sideways, and you clutch boost again, and then it's all okay. What's going on, guys? For some reason, I am sadistic, and we're playing MX versus ATV Supercross Encore. Uh, we're checking out another custom track in this. We're going to be attempting to play Glen Helen. Um, we'll see how she goes. I don't know what's going on with the camera there. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try and play play the Glen Helen custom track here. We'll, we'll see how it's gonna go in this game. This is oh boy, this is something. This after getting used to Legends, this is trying to come back. This is certainly throwing me for a loop here. Going down on the corner that happens in Legends sometimes too. Uh, probably pass all of the computers pretty quickly here. Yep, yep. Good. Can't do ground tricks. Terrain looks weird in this game. Everything handles very weird in this game. But yeah, I figured we'll uh, come back for bad time's sake and revisit Supercross Encore for some reason. I'm kind of uh, running out of ideas for content for Legends at this point. If you guys have ideas, let me know since there are no custom track, no modding support for Legends. So the game's kind of getting a little bit dry at this point for me. I, I really hope at some point in the near future they... Uh, decide to start supporting custom stuff because even on a game like supercross there's still a, a handful of custom tracks people have made for the game and it would it would be nice if they um if they chose to support the modding community since custom stuff has kept reflex alive for however long that game been out and people still play it and um especially with legends since i think legends honestly they have a very very good game there with a lot of potential I really hope they choose to support that, because with Supercross, it kind of feels like this just got put out to the community because they realized, they realized that nobody was playing the game, and they were like, oh, well, we'll just throw it out there. Now that nobody likes the game anymore, now we'll put custom stuff support for that out there, since there is Steam Workshop support for this game. I, I just wish that... They, I hope they do that with Legends before before it gets too old like what was well, while people are still playing legends if they put steam workshop support out there for it i bet they would get the heck of a lot more people playing the game um whether or not that happens is something that remains to be seen but anyway we're we'll try and run some laps around glen hell and we'll see if we can lap the computers in this since it seems like we've already uh kind of surpassed our abilities as we jesus our way through the whoops there and uh, oh we almost got a stoppy it's a very, very, very different feeling game. The clutch boost is very potent. The steering is like... It, it's like playing Legends on Stiff 12 with everything. It's a uh, very, very different feeling game. Break early for the corner. Still probably going to launch out over too far. It's... Yeah, I guess it, compared to the last time I played this, it's not as, ba it's not as bad as I remembered it being now. It's still pretty egregiously terrible and... I will stand by that, which is why I don't think that studio wants to work with me since when, when this game came out, I was um, very critical of it, rightfully so, I would say, because it's still just not good. And because of that, I, I think they don't want to, that back when my channel was actually getting views, they, they think cut any chance they would have had of working with me after that. But um, yeah, anyway, now, now that we're getting dozens of views per video and making no money off of this anymore, now that my channel has thoroughly died, uh, maybe they'll reconsider. I, I said good things about Legends, and I spent my own money on it. It's a fun game. But uh, we're revisiting this for old time's sake. We'll see if we can start doing some backflips over stuff, because we're going to be catching up on people pretty quickly here, I would think, if we're just kind of cruising all over the place. And still, oh, there they are. They're kind of coming down the hill over there now. We'll... We'll see if we can catch up to them. But yeah, as far as that goes, beyond the game here, uh, some life updates. I may, have, may or may not have some interesting content coming in the future since I went onto the Fresh Park website. Now that they have a, um, got a house with some property here, I bought one of those Fresh Parks foldable motocross ramps things. So we'll try and set up a jump in my yard somewhere. I think I, I've got a spot where I can put the ramp so I can jump the driveway and have a, a downside of a dish for a landing. If that doesn't work, I might be able to get some dirt running, or at least even if that, if that does work, then great, I might get another ramp. So I've got some plans where I could potentially get some dirt running to build some landings and put a couple of ramps out there and have like 
have a few little jumps going around my property. If I, if I get some, get a couple truckloads of dirt brought in, get a skid loader, I could uh, pile some dirt up and make some landings to uh, jump the dirt bikes on. At my house, we don't have to drive two hours to go ride anything fun. So we have space for that here. Kind of like I made the RC track, we'll step up a little bit, make something a little bit bigger now that we have dirt bikes. If uh, if that goes well, if anybody's interested in seeing that, let me know, because I can maybe try and form an LLC and write off the next one as a tax write-off if we decide to buy it for making content for the channel. But this one, uh, yeah, I, I don't think that's going to work, because I can get dozens of views. But, yeah, r riding in the real life's been going fun, trying to relearn how to ride the bike. About two hours away from me, there's a little practice track that's got some really small jumps that are about my speed, so I can ease myself into it and, uh not have to do anything that I don't feel comfortable with since I haven't ridden tracks much at all before and this is all a very new learning experience for me. Wow, we are actually doing it. Oh! Scrubbed on flat ground. There we go. That, that's the that's going to be the new that's going to be the new skill at uh, Pro Motocross 2023. Scrubbing on flat ground. Everybody's going to be doing it. You saw it here first. Take a bit of a nose that. Wow! I thought the legend. I forgot how broken the clutch boost was. I thought the legend was the clutch boost was bad. This is worse. I know they took 360s out of this game, which kind of sucks, but the backflips are uh, still there. Ish. We'll see if we can start lapping some computers here. Uh, oh, oh boy, that was. That was a weird thing. I don't know what the hell that was. I think I hear engines, so we're coming up on somebody. See if we can sort of maybe rail the rut. Nope, nope, nope. We're just gonna boom, bounce all over everything and just. I, I, I don't. I don't even know what's going on in this game. The corners are just bouncing all over the place, and then you hit the clutch boost, and everything magically works. Then you scrub completely sideways, and you clutch boost again, and then it's all okay. It's just not, they, they, it just feels like this game never even got play tested. It's just so ridiculously. Ugh. But we're trying it, because we're sadistic, and maybe somebody, some people may or may not find this interesting, since this seemed like a very lesser-known thing about this game, since by the time that these were around, I've got a feeling too, not that many people were playing the game by the time they actually put out a track editor for this. I hear engine, so we must be getting close. Getting close to lapping them. I heard them. I know they're up here. We'll find them. Oh, there's one guy. Okay, there's... Flat traffic is getting taken out. Boosting down the hill, trying to get past the quad, and we just did a hard 180. Bounce into the berm, bounce off of that. There we go, and then we can just keep clutch boosting up the hill. Get past the couch. There we go. Okay, these these whoops and all that would be so rough to play in Legends, because it's... And this, you can just bounce through everything sideways. Let's we'll see if we can double or triple backflip the jump here. Double backflip to board slide. Got it. Oh, I didn't get the, the backflip and actually start happening on that jump. That's unfortunate. That was like one and a half flip over a double. Interesting. All right. Here we go. There's another lap. We'll see if we can uh, rub that way too aggressively again, apparently. Barely pull the back flip around. Scrub it again. Yeah, this is a broken game. And that just reset. I'm just amazed that they even got the AI to work on a custom track in this at all. It'd be it'd be so much so much cooler if they actually supported stuff like this. We could have so much cool content and legends, but uh, it is what it is. Hopefully, if a dev click through any second of this, they uh, can get over the fact that this wasn't a great game and maybe consider trying to support custom stuff and legends. Because I think, as far as I'm aware, this is the newest MX versus ATV game that's out that actually has any amount of support for custom tracks and stuff in it. I think All Out might have had some, like, graphics mods and rider changes, but I think this is the newest game that actually had any kind of, like, user tracks or anything, which it seems like every game like this should have user tracks, because you'd end up with much cooler stuff, and then instead of having to wait for developers that are probably understaffed to 
push out new content while they're trying to fix bugs and other stuff. The community can just make what it wants, as we've seen with, I think, most other games that do this. Modding support goes a long way to keep the game running well, and goes a long way to like, keeping the game interesting and keeping people playing and selling more copies of the game, because I bet Reflex is still selling copies on Steam, and it's way, way too... That guy is going completely backwards? Okay. I don't know how he kind of rode out of that. That was ridiculous. Quad just launched himself into the gate, as they do. We'll have to double backflip. That didn't have the option to try and do a single flip. Backflip everything because that we can, apparently. Backflip the little baby triple. You betcha. There. Right. See if we can get one more lapper before. I actually have no idea how many laps this race is running. For all I know, this is the last one. Looks like we still got another one to go. Can we backflip this into the corner? Yes, we can backflip that. Of course we can. I'm pretty sure in this game came out I did a video where I literally backflipped over a whoop. Because we can backflip literally everything in this game. Wow, they are... Creator of this track was not, uh, not pulling any punches with the penalties or track cuts. I don't know how we rode away from that one okay, but we did somehow. All right. That's, uh, that's nice and realistic. It's a simulation experience here. Through the rhythm section. Just break dancing through the whoops on our motorcycle because that, that's how this game plays. It's, you're break dancing on a motorcycle. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, come on. For, for what it is though, considering the limitations of when I tried messing around with this track editor, they the creator of this track spent a lot of time on it. I think, unlike one of the other custom tracks I tried, this one's actually riding decently okay other than just the glaring issues that Supercross Encore has as a game like it's flowing well the track is like made well you can hook the corners the computers kind of know where they're going ish like this is a for the tools that are in this game this track is honestly nothing short of amazing to me with with the track editor they supplied with the game I am amazed that um, somebody was able to throw this together this is like very, very good for a custom... As far as the custom tracks in this game go, this is amazing. Let's see if we can scrub that a little bit harder. Oh, wait, it doesn't matter if you can just launch everything to flat in this game. Ah, uh, Backflip up that, land on the rear wheel, and almost backflip the wheelie. Backflip that. Ah, uh, we couldn't quite wheelie out of it. We might be able to pass three more lappers here. Yep, there's one, there's two... One more lap, or I think that this might be the last lap. Okay, now we're on the last lap officially. Double back, flip the finish line, and we'll get ready to close this race out if we can. And we're doing a board slide. Break dance or bike through the next section again. So we, like, th th there's a lot of goofy crap with this game, but at least on this track, once you like reacclimate re to what it is, it's okay. The air, the air, in the air physics are definitely pretty goofy and it did, again definitely looks weird it's like it's some weird bastardized version of a live but it does it's okay when, once you no it's not okay it's, I, blew my... I don't know why i'm trying to justify that it's the game is iffy but if, if anybody finds any interest in taking a look back at where where we've come from with Legends versus this. This is Legends is definitely by far the best game they've put out since Reflex, and I, I would say it gives Reflex a run for its money, honestly, at this point. Because compared to this, they've uh they've come a very long way. And I it makes me appreciate the new game all that much more. Actually, I wonder if we can land stuff no handed in this. I know in Reflex and all the way back to Unleashed you could land stuff no handed. Let's see if we can. It won't even let me do a no-hander. Oh, well. Passed another lapper. We'll see. I, I, I feel like for some reason in this game you can't ride out of stuff no-handed anymore. So I apparently can't even do a no-hander anymore. I don't know why. Oh, wait, this has... That's because I'm used to the Legends. This is the old reflex trick system where I think I have to do upright update a no-hander. Don't mind how I'm pulling on the throttle while I'm not touching the handlebars. That's, uh, 
I have no attention to the fact that I'm holding the throttle down when I'm not touching the bars. That makes that's not important. Alright. We'll scrub. And we'll whip or uh, clutch boost. I was about to say whip glitch. No, it, it's the clutch boost in it. And it, Reflex had the whip glitch. Legends has the clutch boost and the scrub boost. This game just had a ridiculously overpowered clutch boost. And there we go. That should have been a lap. I think we're done with the race now, but yeah, there we go. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that look at Glen Helen in Supercross Encore. If you want to see more, let me know. Thanks for watching if you actually made it this far, and I will see you guys in another one.